Hi, I'm working through Chapter 5 in the Adventures in Minecraft book. This chapter um, takes Minecraft and gives it a real-world presence by using a um, Adreno Micro Pro to hook up a breadboard to the USB drive on my computer. And then at this point so far in the chapter, using some LED lights to let me know what's going on in Minecraft. The code is not particularly complicated. It samples what block my player is on and then chooses the appropriate colored um, LED to flash. But we did um, have to work through some setup issues to get the uh, flashing working in the first place. But let me show you what's going on over here in Minecraft. Whoops, it's nighttime. Boy, I wish Minecraft wouldn't do uh, nighttime. Time, set, day. Thankfully, I can uh, make it back to daylight. I like that much better. You'll notice right now that I'm standing on grass and I have uh, coded uh, my program so that the green LED displays when I'm on grass. Now let me move myself forward onto the sand, sandy area. And if we look back down at my flashing LED now, we'll see that I am flashing a blue, bluish purple LED. Now I have one other um, LED programmed here. Let me see if I can move forward. It's kind of hard to do with one hand right now. But I'm going to go inside the house that I built over here back in Chapter 3. And this house has a wool carpet. And if I can get my player to go in, into my house, <laughs> harder than it appears sometimes and move forward onto my wool rug that I created. You'll see now that the red LED is flashing. So I have three LEDs and each one of them is coded to flash given a different tile position inside of Minecraft. The uh, yellow light you're seeing in the background just lets me know that there's a program running on my Adreno Micro Pro board. Once I stop my program, um, all of these lights will go off. So on to more adventures in chapter five. I can't wait to see what's next. Thanks.